Hi everyone, welcome to Nihon Galas. Today is June 30th. Yes, today. Let's see when do I upload this. But at least today it's June 30th. And it's so, so damn hot. But I had to take the video today because today it was, I think it's apparently the only day that I can uh, do this ritual, the only time that I can see it. So I decided to try dealing with this hot weather and try my best to check out this ritual. Apparently there are many shrines around Tokyo where you can see this ritual, but it has been something. Apparently there are a few shrines in Tokyo where you can check out this ritual but for me it was a last minute decision so I basically ended up choosing the Karasumori Shrine in Simbashi for one single reason because it's the one closer to my workplace so I decided to go to that one The name of this ritual is Nagoshi no Harai or Summer Purification Ritual and it's performed on June 30th because the first uh, half of the year has already finished and we can pray for good luck, we can wish for good luck for the second half of the year. Among the traditions that uh, happen on this Nagoshi no Harai, one of the typical ones, one of the hi highlights, is the so-called Chinoa Kuguri. Kuguri comes from Kuguru, which literally in this context means to pass through, to go from one side to the other. Wa means ring or something that has a circular shape and chi is a plant that I didn't know until I started researching about this which means co which is called kogon I didn't know about this but in one way it's like a ritual grass ring that you can pass through to uh, have better luck what is exactly the meaning about it uh, what is a way to go through it how, uh, what can we see on the shrines during this event? We are going to check all of this on our trip to Karasumori Shrine. Do you want to come? Let's go! There is a traditional procedure about how to cross this grass ring from one side to the other. But uh, this procedure is not being done here in this shrine, probably because the shrine is located in a very uh, narrow space, so it looks like it's inserted here. That's why probably they don't have enough space. But at least I was able to buy my Goshu in and get as a present a beautiful Mamori as well. I will leave the, the pictures here so that you can see. How, how beautiful they are, so I'm pretty happy with my with what I bought. Now, as a plan B, I'm going to try moving to the very well-known Kandamyojin to see if I can to see if I can check the procedure I want to tell you about. While we move to Akihabara to visit Kandamyojin, let me tell you about the legend. According to the tale, the god Susano no Mikoto was wandering around Bingo province. No, not that one. Formerly, Bingo was the name for the current eastern Hiroshima area. Susano was disguised as a traveler searching for a place to stay. A poor man known as Suomin Sorai offered him food and shelter. Years later, the god taught him how to make a grass ring to protect people from illnesses when they wear it on their waist. In the beginning, people used to wear these rings on their waist, following the legend. 
but during the Edo period, the result changed to this huge cross ring we see nowadays. I am here in Kanamyojin and here luckily I was able to see and experience this uh, Chinoa Kuguri as I was saying. The Chinoa is the, the ring that you can see here. So this ring, the traditional way of passing through it as I was saying, it's not only crossing from one side to the other, but also when you cross you need to do three laps. The first lap is going to your left side and you go back. Then the, the second one is going to your right and then the third one and last one is going to your left again. So that when you see from above it looks like one eight or like an infinite sign. If that has a further reason or a further meaning, I'm sorry, I do not know. If anybody here watching this video knows, please let me know, I will be very happy to know about that. But yeah, so the traditional procedure is left, right, left, and then after that you can you can already go inside. And if you go straight, as you can see, you will go to the, the Honden, the main hall of the temple where you can do your praying. And of course pray for having this uh, good health, which is the, the main point be behind this Chinoa as we were talking throughout this legend. So that was basically it. I'm happy that I could visit two temples today. I was able to, to go first to this uh, Karasuno, Kar Karasumori, uh, the Karasumori Shrine in, in Simbashi. And as I was saying there, I couldn't see the, um, the traditional way there because it's only stairs. So there is no space to actually turn to the left or turn to the right. So I understand why this traditional way is not possible to be performed there. So I came here to Kanamyojin and I'm happy that I was able to see and also perform this traditional way. So that's all for today's video. Have you ever tried this ritual? What do you think about this? What is your favorite uh, Japanese ritual or Japanese event? Please feel free to leave your reply on the comments. I will be very happy to read it. But as I said, that is all for today, so I hope you like it, and see you at the next video. Bye-bye!